Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you guys about the window cuts in the slides. Uh, is there a purpose to it? Does it help in some ways? Does it hurt in other ways? Um, now this one over here has a single window that's big, okay? Um, this one over here has three large windows on this G19, right? All right, so they're cool because you can see the barrels, especially if you have like a, a, a fancy colored barrel you can see more of the barrel so it, it looks really nice okay uh this one over here okay this has three windows on three sides so it's got a total of nine holes so that looks really cool so it looks really nice and you know uh, it's very aesthetically pleasing uh but there is a purpose uh beyond just the looks and here's the thing when you add the suppressor height sights and you add the optic you're adding extra weight on top of the slide. Uh, the way Glock originally designed its guns, and this is basically a Glock clone, there has to be a certain weight balance, right, uh, between the slide and, and the, uh, the recoil pressure that's generated so that the gun will, uh, you know, will, will function reliably, okay? So when you add the extra weight of the optic, uh, in, you know, you want to maintain that balance. So the way you do it is you reduce the weight from somewhere else. And that's these window cuts, okay? So, so the window cuts offset the extra weight of the optic. So they do have a very practical uh, purpose. Now, uh, on the now you might say that hey, you've got um, you know you, you you know you have a slide with an optic on it, uh, and it's got no cuts, and the gun works fine. And and yes, you know that that does happen, but it might manifest itself in terms of as the gun gets dirtier. You know, a a gun with a lighter slide on it, um, you know, might run longer uh, be, between cleanings. Okay, so that that's a possibility. But you know, I mean, you can always have exceptions, right? You might, for example, maybe you got a lighter recoil spring that can also offset that. But I'm just kind of putting this out there as a practical purpose for having uh, window cuts. Okay, now the the G17 that has a longer barrel. So the longer barrel means that the bullet tends to stay in the barrel a little bit longer, so there's a little bit more pressure. So the G17s are very, very forgiving, you know, when they're dirty or if you got extra weight on the gun. Uh, the G19s, like this one over here, is also pretty forgiving. There's, there's you know, it's still long enough of a barrel uh, that I have never had any, uh, any cycling issues because of the uh, extra weight. On the G26, on the other hand, Okay, um, when I, th this gun, when I built it without, without the optic on it, uh, was working fine with 115 grain bullets, okay? And then when I put the optic on it, right, all of a sudden I was having cycling problems, right? Because now the G26, you have a very short barrel, so the, the, um, uh, the bullet stays longer, uh, the, sh the, the bullet stays in the barrel for a shorter period of time. Um, so with the extra weight on, on top of it, uh, it was it was having cycling problems. Now, if you have like a factory G26, which I don't own, but I've been told by people that own factory G26s, if you limp wrist them, if you don't have good form where you're pushing into the gun while you're shooting, all right, uh, you can have cycling problems. So 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 a standard G factory G26 by itself, because of that shorter barrel, you know, uh, is kind of like you know on the edge of working and not working if you're not holding the gun correctly now again that's with target ammo if you're using um uh, you know more powerful uh, ammunition it might work better now the solution to getting this gun to work was instead of using the standard um uh 16 pound recoil spring i put a 14 pound recoil spring in there and i shoot this with 124 grain bullets so this does not work reliably with 115 grain bullets, right, because of that extra weight, um, but it, it does work reliably with 124 grain bullets, okay? Um, so again, if it did, the, the, the window cut kind of helps it in that direction, okay? So, so, but the point is that here's a gun that without the optic was, was working with 115 grains. When I put the optic on it, because of that extra weight, it kind of pushed it over the edge where it just was, it, it, it's not like it wasn't working at all, it just wasn't working reliably, okay? Um, now, uh, is there a downside to the window cuts? Okay. Well, yes, there, there is a downside to the window cuts. Uh, I did a test, um, I think about 
two, maybe two, three winters ago. I think it was three winters ago. Uh, I was really testing the these Hollow Sun 507Cs in the mud. It was in the springtime. The, the, there was a big snow melt, lots of mud around here. So I was taking the mud and I was kind of packing it um, into the... Um, uh, I was packing it into the optic to see if I would, you know, how quickly it would clear up if I was able to, uh, you know, to get to a point where I couldn't see. And the uh, interesting thing that happened was at the point that the, that I couldn't see the reticle in the glass, the gun stopped working, okay, which I, I kind of found, found odd. Now, mind you, I was really like packing the, the mud in there. And uh, I had a discussion with somebody in the, uh, in the comments of that video and I'm gonna link that video below so you can check out that mud test video um, and uh, what he proposed and with what I now agree with uh, because of these window cuts right when I was packing mud in here and I had mud all over my hands mud was also getting in through these openings okay so the windows allow mud and dirt and or sand and all sorts of you know basically the, the windows make the engine leave the engine of the gun open basically um, so Window cuts uh, is probably not an ideal. Um, you know, it's not. It's probably not ideal uh, for a true combat type of situation because the breeze can get into the gun. Because once you start getting the breeze, because remember this this slide, this, the, the 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 slide has to move over the barrel. The barrel tilts up and down. So if you start getting the breeze in there, right, and and, and the the windows are exactly in, in that area where the with a with, with the barrel slide lockup occurs so yeah that's going to jam up the gun and that was happening in the video the mud was getting in through the windows and it did in fact jam up the gun um so as a as a result of that test i uh, actually ordered a couple of these uh, uh a couple of these slides without the windows in it okay um, i want to test those out see how those work uh but that's the drawback to having windows on your gun it allows debris to get in there, uh, and in really harsh environments, like if you're going to be in the mud, if you're going to be in the sand, if you're going to be in the dirt, and like literally, like the, I, don't, I don't mean you, I mean the gun itself is going to be uh, in 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 mud, dirt, snow. Um, it can cause jamming problems. So uh, you know, there's a, a cost benefit to everything. You know, the the window cuts allow me to, you know, to put the optic on here and have the gun cycle work reliably. However, in certain situations. Uh, that might start working against me. Okay, so a couple of things for you guys to think about. Um, if you're not a member of the channel, subscribe. Uh, hit that bell button uh, so you get notifications. And also make sure you're following me on all my other channels because this one's got like two strikes on it. I got look up uh, Absolute Guns. Subscribe to that. Um, also find me on Odyssey. Uh, a lot of my videos transferred over there. Uh, so if they kick me off YouTube on this channel, you'll find me somewhere else. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon.